Addressing Suicide as a Public Health Problem. This presentation will analyze how the United States, Japan, and Mexico handle suicide prevention, emphasizing their health systems and drawing comparative insights. The Global Suicide Crisis. Suicide is a global public health issue. The WHO has recognized it as one of the top causes of preventable deaths. The general culture towards suicide is improving due to better health care infrastructures. However, there is still a lot to be done. United States suicide trends. Suicide rates in the U.S. have reached levels not seen since the 1930s. In 2022, almost 50,000 suicides were recorded, indicating a growing mental health crisis that cuts across different demographic groups. Suicide risk factors in the United States. In the U.S., risk factors for suicide are multifaceted and include social, economic, and medical factors. The opioid crisis, coupled with economic disparities and mental health stigma, has exacerbated the problem. Japan's cultural and societal context of suicide. Japan's longstanding cultural views on suicide, combined with intense societal and work-related stress, have made it a major public health concern. However, national efforts are helping to reduce these rates. Japan's educational levels and suicide risk. Education plays a crucial role in suicide prevention in Japan. Stud studies show that men and women with lower educational attainment face a significantly higher risk of suicide, reflecting broader socioeconomic disparities. Impact of COVID-19 on suicide in Japan. The COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated mental health issues in Japan, leading to a noticeable rise in suicide rates. Young men and women were particularly vulnerable during this period. Mexico's suicide crisis among adolescents. Mexico faces a growing adolescent suicide crisis, with rates increasing dramatically in the last decade. Females, those with a history of abuse, and adolescents with mental health disorders are most at risk. Seasonal trends in Mexican suicide rates. In Mexico, suicide rates are, show a clear seasonal pattern, with certain times of the year seeing a spike in suicides, particularly among urban males. This offers a unique window for targeted interventions during these critical periods. The United States healthcare system and suicide prevention. The structure of the U.S. healthcare system, with its fragmentation and inequality in access, poses, poses significant challenges to suicide prevention. Many people, especially in marginalized communities, struggle to access timely mental health care. Japan's health insurance system and mental health. Japan's universal health insurance system offers broad coverage, including mental health care. However, there are still significant challenges in accessing specialized mental health services. All citizens and residents must enroll in either an employment-based or residence-based insurance plan. Mexico's health system and suicide prevention. Mexico's fragmented healthcare system with three parallel subsystems in, in, uh, in SEBI, that, uh, public and private in sectors present challenges in providing comprehensive mental health services. Comparison of mental health infrastructure. Each country has a unique approach to mental health care, with the U.S. suffering from fragmentation, Japan offering universal coverage but lacking accessibility, and Mexico facing systemic disparities. These differences are highlighted in context-specific situations. Cultural attitudes towards mental health and suicide. Cultural attitudes towards suicide vary widely across these countries. In Japan, societal pressures and honor play a significant role. In the U.S., mental health carries a heavy stigma, but there's a growing emphasis on individual responsibility, while in Mexico, cultural conservatism often hinders open discussion of mental health. National suicide prevention programs. Each country has implemented unique suicide prevention programs. The U.S. focuses on crisis intervention. Japan emphasizes on workplace mental health, and Mexico is working to build community-based interventions. Successful strategies in suicide prevention. Uh, despite challenges, each country has seen su success in specific areas of suicide prevention. National hotlines, workplace mental health policies, and community health initiatives are all making a difference in reducing suicide rates. Innovations in suicide prevention. Innovation plays a key role in suicide prevention. In the U.S., telemedicine and mental health apps are providing new ways to reach at-risk individuals. In Japan, workplace apps help manage stress, showing promise in reducing suicide rates. Comparative challenges in suicide prevention, part one. Each country faces distinct challenges in suicide prevention. The U.S., public mental health services being stretched thin, programs taking one to two years. Japan, cultural stigmas, and Mexico, a lack of comprehensive funding. Compre comparative challenges in suicide prevention, too. 
Uh, in Japan, high levels of workplace stress contribute to the country's mental health crisis. Similar to Japan, Mexico, mental health illness is often associated with shame and discrimination. The U.S. lacks a comprehensive national mental health care system across public and private sectors. So what needs to be done? Prioritize early intervention and preventative care. Address the cultural barriers and stigma associated with seeking mental health support and ensure equitable access to care, particularly for, for vulnerable populations such as rural communities, the youth, and the uninsured. Thank you for your time.